Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. All right, looking forward to this. All of our guests today, including Kurt Malowski, head coach, GM of the Vancouver Warriors, new head coach and GM of the Vancouver Warriors, yep. brought to you by our title sponsor, Able Auctions and ableauctions.ca. The Warriors open their 2023 National Lacrosse League season Friday at Rogers Arena against Panther City. And Kurt also coaches the WLA Langley Thunder, and he joins us now. Kurt, thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Very good. 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 How ready are you for Friday, Kurt? We're prepared. Yeah, we had four long weeks of camp, and uh, we went, did systems, systems, systems. Did a lot of systems. So you know what? Uh, we're prepared for the first game. Okay, you're from Vancouver, but you've spent a lot of time in Calgary with the Roughnecks, playing and, and coaching a decade and a half, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Kurt. How tough was it to make the move from Calgary back to your home in Vancouver? Yeah, it was really difficult. Um, I've been there, there, like you said, it was 15, 16 years and, you know, a good organization and, uh, you know, we won, won a few championships there. So I had a lot of close friends, but, uh, you know, I ended up, I ended up hitting uh, free agency as a coach and sat, I sat, went in and sat with the Aquilini family and uh, had a great conversation. And, you know, they, they just, they speak very highly of, of their passion of the Warriors and lacrosse in British Columbia and, you know, and then the family atmosphere that they, uh, organization runs and and you know is very aligned with what uh what i'm believing in and you know, growing the sport in vancouver is very very important the province of british columbia is big big real big for me so uh I, you know seemed to work out you mentioned system system systems uh kurt warriors have had all sorts of trouble defensively in recent years what steps have you taken to improve in that area well we changed 12 guys right out of the rattle donnie so yeah. you know we, we made personnel changes right away and which, you know, I got a system that, you know, I like to believe that's tried, tested, and true in Calgary that won championships. So um, you got to make sure you bring the right guys in uh, based on the system. You know, I didn't want to adopt a team full of guys that I'm not saying the guys we got rid of are bad players or not, but, it, you know, there have to be conducive to the system I was willing to play uh, play in Vancouver. So we went out, we were very aggressive in free agency, and uh, we, we drafted accordingly. And so we're, we, we basically picked the guys to fit our system. Hey, Kurt, no playoffs last six years. I know there were two COVID years, but how much would it mean to you to be a lower mainland guy and turn this around and get this team in the playoffs? You know what? It, to be honest with you, Rick, I, I'm not, not really looking look, looking at the, the, the playoff like, like that. It's, it, for me, I always coach five minutes at a time. I, we always, I always play where our feet are with the guys, and we don't scoreboard watch. And, you know, we just want to continue to get better and better. And I'm a big process guy, and the outcome care, takes care of itself. So, if we play good, fundamentally sound, systematic lacrosse and be very, very disciplined, and and you know we we win the special team special teams games on most nights and get good goaltending, you know what uh, we'll be in a, we'll be in a position to to be in the conversation near the end of the year. But you know, as far as it goes right now, I don't have a, a lot of expectations except just be ready for the whistle blow on December first. You made two trades to add uh, first rounders. That gives you four. But no surprise here, Kurt. You've always been a big build through the draft guy. Is that correct? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, you, you can get your free agents, and but they're going to be in their early thirties, and and you, you know you can't build a, a, a the team around all them. You definitely need some championship pedigree, and you need some veteran presence and some good teachers with the young guys, and that can show them how it's done. But um, you've got to build through the draft. Like I, like Donnie mentioned earlier, I've been in Calgary for you know fifteen years, so you know we built through the draft. It took us a long time to do that. And I'm not saying that we can't expedite things, but moving down from two to pick up four or seven and nine in the draft were were important for us and you know we picked up a player in that process so i think we sped up the process you know uh, a couple of years that way by picking up a couple of extra draft picks hey, you added uh, you mentioned adding uh, players you added nll veteran uh kevin crowley's from new west what does he add you know what he he, he was asked to bang around and set picks and create space for his teammates in san diego but he's going to be expected to score you know he's a you know i'd like to see him get 80 90 points and you know, I, I think he's be a facilitator over there with uh, with Keegan Ball on the right side. He, you know, in Philadelphia, he was a goal scorer and uh, and, a, and a point producer and one of their top righties, if not the top righty. And I think, well, alongside Keegan Ball on our side, he can be one A and one B. And you know, he's uh, he's going to be um, asked to, to score and to make everybody around him better. But obviously, we play offense by committee in the true sense of it. There'll be time and a place for his shots. But uh, you know, Kevin's Kevin's uh, confident and he's a, he's a good ball player and he's he's fit in our system very well so far. 
Okay, Kurt, so does your new deal uh, with the Warriors and the Aquilini family, does it include Canuck season tickets? <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. Uh, no, we're just, uh, we, we, we separated that, but I'm sure if I asked, I might be able to sneak into a game, Donnie. <laughs> okay, yeah, good to hear. All right, I won't ask you whether or not Dougie Taylor is helping you on, on the bench. I'll let you off, <laughs> off the hook on, on that one. <laughs> All right. There's a in the mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Kurt, uh, appreciate it, and uh, we're pulling for you. All the best on Friday and the, and the rest of the season. Yeah, we hope to get the fans out Friday night at 7 o'clock at the rink. You know, it always makes us play better when we get a full house, so... Let's see what we can do. Thank you. Thanks, Kurt. I appreciate it.